normally the uh, the company we're in, we, we'd put up about uh, 16 helicopters at least every day, uh, 10 being the slicks, the troop carriers, we'd have a spare. We converted one to a smoky uh, ship, so we were uh, pushing uh, oil through the hot end of the engine. The idea was that he would fly at high speed, low level, uh, uh, between us and the nipper palm where we were going in, hopefully to give us some cover. Uh, and we'd put up two to three gunships every day and, and command and control. There was one day, uh, uh, first time I copped a bit of fire, I'd been only there for about five weeks. And on that day, of the 10 of us that went in, uh, six were hit. And uh, we managed to get four back up to reinforce the Arvin, who we'd put on the ground. I later found out that uh, of about the 110 or so we put in, uh, about 90 were killed or wounded. That was a particularly hot day. And I do remember that uh, the battalion commander was overflying at the time and I heard him call uh, our command and control and suggest we didn't go into that area. It was already bad. We knew the gunships were taking fire. The artillery hadn't had the effect we'd hoped. Uh, but uh, as in that particular war, the ground commander had the final say. We, we delivered where they wanted us to go, and that's just what we did. Uh, having had six aircraft uh, take a lot of hits, one of which uh, took about uh, 26, 28, we believe, uh, so f fuel was pouring out of him he didn't make it back to the landing zone, but landed safely. And I think uh, the maintainers, a tribute to them, I think we might have had one day on the ground, and uh, the day after that, we had the 16 up again.